some of these newcomers quickly caught on. 12-year-old Ezra showed up a few years ago and grabbed everyone's attention. I don't know, it's just a natural talent in terms of skateboarding. He has this like, urge just to improve, improve and improve and improve all the time. His progress is abnormal, that's what I can say. Because he's just taken a really short time and he's done like something that has taken like people like us so many years to maybe master and actually get to know how it's done. But Ezra, nicknamed Balotelli after the talented Italian footballer, faced some serious life challenges. With no home and living on the streets, he was constantly hiding from authorities. Come on, Chakula. I live in the street, and I usually depend on people to give me money to survive. My street life is not good. If I could have the opportunity to go to school, then I would go. So we are here at Akakan parking lot. Like This is where we usually escape. Ezra slept at the foot of a sewage ditch, along with the other young street kids. Um, this is where this is like a like a ditch and like the, the there's some stones over here and like this this was the base and this was like the carton to cover them from the rain and then there was like um, they, they could put like cardboards to cover the whole place it was so sad to see uh, Ezra and Mwangi live in, in such a place because we skate with them and then they come here here is so unsafe and so cold for them and like, it was so sad seeing them in such a state. George and his skateboarding crew pulled together to raise funds to help get Ezra and his friend Mwangi off the streets. But the thing which, which has, has made me like feel more psyched about, like psyched about skateboarding in Kenya is that like the kids page has, has had more support. Through an Instagram account, they documented every fundraising success a new skateboard donated by a local skateboard company, trips to the arcade for Ezra, and eventually Ezra's ultimate dream. <laughs> school fees. <laughs> Ezra is now enrolled in school full time and has even become something of a local hero. He's among our top boys. Despite the fact that he came from the streets, he took the a very short time to cope. I like to study with my, my teachers. I listen to them, what they're teaching me. Even at this school, a skateboarder is the coolest kid on campus. They always be happy when they see me skating at the school. They cheer for me. They always think that I, I'll go far in skateboarding. Now, anytime he skates, it's a school spectacle. In fact, he amazed everybody, even the neighboring school. We have schools around here. We, f we found that pupils just uh, climbed those walls to see him. And he made us very proud, very proud. And uh, the mom anytime we have the inter-school competition or the school competitions, we make him a priority. He does it, then the other sports now take over. So. And around here, he has made our school to be famous because it is the only school that is carrying, it has students who do skating. A star among his peers, after school, Ezra has another new routine. Skateboard in hand, he and Wangi walk together through the streets of Nairobi's Kangemi neighborhood to their new home and new family. You coming up and just taking street kids, strangers you don't know, into your own like house and uh, dedicating your time to take care of them. That's a thing, not even maturity, that's more than maturity for me. It's something, something I don't know even how to explain it. It's spectacular for me. You know, he's in college, he's studying and he's, he's not working. You know, I'm older than him, but I'm seeing, it's like I'm learning how to be a father from my young kid. Sometimes it's kind of hard because I don't have the finances. I'm the last one in my family, like, so I've never had that role of being like a, a big brother or something. So like, I'm, slowly by slowly I'm learning and like, it has been a good process. 
I see myself in them, in that they're so hungry to skate. Even after school, they tell, they tell me, George, before I start doing my homework, let's, let's watch a skate video. I found like kids, kids can, can be so creative, so inspiring. They motivate you and they, the kids have so much psych and so creative.